Hello again, guys. Pete here. An update of the 420 Jaguar YF fix for the small scale group build hosted by uh, Sean at the Scale Model Car Guy channel and Mr. BG Brian over there at BG Model Works. Uh, made quite a bit of progress and quite a few steps backwards, but that's the joy of modelling and that. Um, Got all a scattering of parts down here. I hope you can see them. I don't know whether uh, zooming in a little bit might help. Uh, you see, I've been painting up a few things. But uh, this is the old. No, it's probably better further away. I really am. Hang on, Hang on a second. Let's try this. Find it. Come on. Find that bloody Jaguar. You say I've whittled away a bit of the the spigot it was mounted on to to give me a better uh, fixing point on on the hood bonnet when it comes to it. And down there, I've still got one of the handles tagged in. The I noticed that. They are actually upside down and, you know, sided and that. So I've kept one in a numbered position. And from that I can work out where the other ones went or shall go. Um, and I've got them all mounted on spigots here. This is the uh, trunk opening gizmo and rear tail light. Can I get that there? And that goes on the trunk lid. Um, it's very cold over here, so the chrome hasn't come up as well as it normally does. I don't know yet whether buffing or or whether even at this scale it will be okay anyway. I've got the hubcaps here. It's more of a bright silver. But it was, you know, it really is cold over here. A bit too cold to be spraying chrome. Um, nothing on that pipe. I've got these little spigots dangling around all... Ah, oh, they're the front vents. I didn't bother changing them in the end because they're, they're actually... On the real car, they're such a fine mesh. Changing them won't make any difference whatsoever. What I did do was cross-hatch in there a little bit to just get a bit of texture. And if I put a wash in there in a couple of days, that will bring that out. <coughs> That's one of the tail light dangling off of there, that's a tail light trim, um, there's yet to have obviously the tail light on there and there's a re reflector, the circular sort of part is a reflector that's in red. Um, moving right along, for some reason the driver figure reminded me of my uh, biology teacher, so this is my rendition of Mr Spencer. And I, I hope he's uh, going to sit comfortably in the Jaguar. I'm sure he never afforded one as a biology teacher at my school. <coughs> so he's gone up in the world, probably had an Austin Maxi. Um, I stole a length of the... I hope this will zoom in and show this. This is a tube from a Revel contactor uh, glue. One of these. Back it out again. Wrong way, Pete. Straight into the wall. Um, one of the tubes out of an empty section of that, I then cut off and uh, drilled into the back of the silencer and put in that tube. Is that going to show up as a tube? Is it? Come on, you bugger. Well, anyway, that's what it is, and by masking it off for the, the grey paint that I'm actually using, it's just left me with the tip. It's not going to do it, is it? Come on, zoom in on it. No. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, I've got the... Bits of chassis and uh, 
just getting the brake pipes run in there back down to the two discs at the back in the independent rear suspension unit uh, this is better isn't it uh, I've got this this section of the exhaust painted up and laid in there ready to go on to the um, other silencers which I put a, like a weld seam down that side and and around these top edges because there's a it's like a rolled well not a, a ellipse isn't it a, of steel around two end plates so I've uh, put in two new uh, flanges at the end for the, the tubes to connect to down in the car and that the tube there will I'm sure I had Brian's little man let me just bit of pipe um and break it probably that will slide in through the hole of the the other one this is just a spigot uh And so all the way through there, I sleeved it with a piece of tubing and just lined it all up. Uh, what else was there? Oh yeah, the wheels, they went together in the same as the other ones are going together on the Airfix kit with a, with an insert. But if you push this insert in too far, it left you with a, a really large bead around the hub. So I've actually pushed it back again and set it with a rather big lip there that I'm hopefully going to be able to chamfer off. Um, got my valve in there. And then uh, this lip here was ever so deep. And there was quite a lot of mould residue left in those troughs, so I've had to clean this out rather thoroughly going around the, the wheel there. Uh, I wonder if that'll do it now. It likes that background, doesn't it? Let's see if I can get... Oh, there we go. That's the end pipe. I just cleared that out w with a uh, deburrer once I'd cut it. Mm. Make a nice mottled effect. Bit of shadow for the underneath. That pin is, is like mounted deep down, so I thought I'll uh, do it dark in the first place. Um, there was quite a bit of flash along along these pipes, but a few minutes with a sharp scalpel, and that was about it, really. The front of the car... Uh, I'm doing again, because I was losing too much of the curvature, getting rid of the sink marks. So I've laid in a bit more of my sprue goo. To pack them back out again. Give that another day to harden off and then sand them back and try and keep the <coughs> keep the curves. I've also filled in there was a, a a sink mark behind that door and the same the other side, so I've filled them in just with a little bit of stopper. Um the rest of it there was some incredible flash along that area and and along the same there where there was the weld, the weld seam, mould seam, uh, down along that line, out through there. So, it needs cleaning up a bit. There's a nice bit of script there. You can read that, look. How about that? 1968 this moulding was made. I've filled in untold sink marks, and it's got script like this on the trunk lid, and it's phenomenal. Anyway, now... Uh, that's it. Best wishes from jolly old England. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks to all my new subscribers, old subscribers, as Sean likes to say. And uh, best, best of luck with your own builds. Bye.